Many people in Fukushima continue to worry about the health effects from the nuclear accident three years ago. Parents are especially concerned about the possibility of a rise in thyroid cancer among children. Healthcare experts are working to catch signs of illness as early as possible. NHK World's Mitsuko Nishikawa has more. A hospital in the village of Hirata has been leading a private program to provide thyroid checkups for the residents in Fukushima Prefecture. They've been conducting free ultrasound checkups for the past two years. After the accident at Fukushima Daiichi, huge amounts of radioactive substances were released into the atmosphere. The fallout included iodine, which tends to be absorbed and concentrated in the thyroid gland especially in children in their developmental periods. Many parents feel they need to remain on guard. I'm concerned about my child's health, so I take him in to be checked. Hajime Watanobe and his team from the hospital in Hirata reported the results from the screening in the first year of their program. They've tested more than 1,100 children aged 18 and under. In addition to ultrasound tests, we've been conducting blood and urine tests for all the children who come in for checkups. The results of their study show 70 percent had mild abnormalities. That included nodules or lumps in the thyroid of up to 5 millimeters in diameter and cysts measuring up to 20 millimeters. They say these abnormalities are not necessarily illnesses. But they say they need to be watched carefully for a long term. Local health authorities are also conducting thyroid gland tests for those who were 18 and under at the time of the nuclear accident. The program run by Fukushima Prefecture has tested 270,000 people so far. Their results show 53 percent had no abnormalities, while 46 percent had mild abnormalities. Watanobe says the difference in the prevalence of abnormalities could be due to the fact that they are taking more time to conduct the ultrasound checks. When we think about uh, uh, epidemiological study, probably we will need to continue our thorough checkups at least uh, several decades until we get a definite answer for the Fukushima citizenry. Health officials say there is no evidence of an increase in thyroid cancer among the children in Fukushima. But Watanobe says health care services will need to provide thorough thyroid checkups in order to detect possible health risks at an early stage. Mitsuko Nishikawa, NHK World, Fukushima.